Lagos State Governor Kilmi Ambadi just recently passed a plan to ban yellow commercial buses from Lagos roads before the end of 2017. However, the news has been received with mixed reactions from many Nigerians. While most Lagosians think the ban will certainly cause hardship for residents who depend on them, others have commended the plan by the Lagos State Government. Endurance Olonge has more details on the story. 58-year-old Jim of Fagbenro, a father of five, is a commercial yellow bus driver in Lagos, popularly called Danfo. He has been in the business for 12 years now after he lost his job in 1998. Jimo says as a commercial bus driver, life has been good to him. He is able to meet the needs of his large family. But all that may be about to change for Jimo and many like him. The Lagos State Government has announced plans to ban all commercial buses or yellow buses from operating in the state. Actually, when I heard the, um, the news, I didn't believe it. I have to go to uh, where I'm reading paper. I bought paper that day to see what is happening, that um, uh, Governor Ambody wants to ban yellow bus. If the government should ban the yellow bus, it's going to affect many people, right? No, the government is, it, it has been trying to reduce crime. But eventually, if you should uh, ban that thing, there will be a lot of crime again. And most of the people who rely on this job just to survive to keep their family on. And when the, 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 the airport is no more, what is going to happen? There will be a lot of crime. A lot of things will be happening. Even though he agrees with the government plan to restructure the transport system in the states, Jimo says the government should explore alternative measures of regulating the system instead of the proposed ban. If the government feels that the, it's, it's not organized, I believe the government, government can organize, uh, the, it can set up a committee that, that will be meeting this uh, so-called uh, national union people. Then they should have meeting together. They should let them know what they want and what they, what they do not want. So from there, they will pass the information to us. In, and if the government want to, they want to do it in another way, they can even organize a workshop for us. So that all these things, you know, most of these people that are driving this uh, bus, they are not going to school. And it will be very difficult. As far as I'm concerned, I can read and write. But some, they cannot read and write. Most of the time on the road, they don't know it. It is when there is workshop, it is when there is a, a seminar that they train us or they, they tell us what they want. From there, things will change. And if the government doesn't back down on the ban, survival for Jimo and other yellow bus drivers may become difficult. As far as I'm concerned, it's going to affect me a lot. It's going to affect me a lot. And it will, it will, it will, it will stop most of my... Uh, my progress, that is sending people, uh, my children to school, doing this, doing that, it will, it, will, it will actually stop it. Because I don't have any other way than this uh, job that I'm doing now. And I've been in this job for over 12 years, even more than that. I've been applying this road. And actually, I'm making little, little things that I, I, I believe if I can keep it together, I can, I can still do something in life. But if, and if the government should ban it now, it will affect. With over 20,000 yellow buses riding daily on its road, Lagos State, home to some 20 million people, largely depends on these yellow buses as the main means of transportation. But as the state government pursues its agenda to provide modern public transportation system, many are waiting to see what becomes of this plan and how it will affect them. Endurance are longer. TV 360, Lagos.